Hello, Diamond Royals. I'm back with another powerful word filled with the precious Holy Spirit. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like the content I'm putting on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe and share with someone that you know that may need to hear the message. The prophetic word on today is this person was a Judas. This person played a role like a Judas Iscariot in your life and now they want to come back around you. They betrayed you. They went and sided with your enemies when it came to you and came back to you like they were your friend and a supporting angel. And then they ran back to your enemies and played the role like their friends as well when they knew your enemies did not like you. I don't know why this message came up today for a prophetic word, but this is what the Holy Spirit has put on my heart with some of you people that could be possibly going through something with a person that you thought was your friend. They played a role as a Judas. They were, they were, to you, they were one way. And then they go back to your enemies and talk negative, gossip about you in another way. So you, your enemies are mad at you even more because the person that you were confiding in was going back telling your enemies what you said and what you were doing just to trip you up in some foolishness and some mess that this Judas, this person that was a Judas played in your life. You got to be aware of Judas's coming around you. See, Judas plays a role like a supporting angel of you. They are your friend, but that yet they are your enemy as well. They have a love and hate relationship when it comes to you, this Judas. A love and hate relationship. And we're going to go to the scripture about this, how Judas acted. And how he did Yahusha. And how this person is behaving in your life that's similar to Judas Iscariot in the scriptures. According to... Let me pull out my Bible because I do have my sword with me today. Matthew chapter 26. Verse 47. See, you got to be aware of Judas's that come into your life. See, Judas will set you up. Judas will set you up to be slaughtered. A Judas will set you up to be killed. A Judas will make it seem like you are the problem. A Judas will confide in your enemies to get rid of you off the earth. That's why you got to be aware of this Judas in your life. See, Judas didn't want Yahusha to go to his next level in, spiritually in life. No. He chose to sell him out for 30 coins of silver. That's all it took for him to betray him in front of his enemies. Be aware of any Judas that's in your life. Me, I had a few Judases in my life and they are the worst because they are two-faced. Somebody say two-faced. They're very two-faced. One way, they're one way with you wearing a mask and then they're wearing a mask to your enemies another way about you. I had a few Judases come up on me in the last 10 years. And do I deal with these people any longer? Oh, no. They're going to be miserable by themselves because I don't play games like that. When I when when you speak truth from your heart, especially when you're a good person, if, if a Judas can't understand the truth that's coming for you out of jealousy and envy or spite that they're doing it for, or because they're trying to fit in with another group about you, they don't deserve to be around you. Let them suffer. See, Judas suffered. He suffered because he betrayed the son of man. He suffered greatly. This is why you got to be careful of the Judases because, oh, they surely deeply regret when they come against you as the chosen one. They deeply regret this. Don't think they will because God going to bring it to remembrance on why they would deeply regret it because they was too busy trying to confide in your enemies for gain, for money. For fame, for glory, for worship. They want to take your spotlight. That's what Judas wanted to do. They want to take your spotlight. But it's always for ulterior motive or a gain on why they're doing it for. It has nothing to do with you and your spirit as a person because your spirit is holy and righteous. Your, the Judas in your life knew this. Whoever this person is. But it's always about monetary gain or something on why they betray you to your enemies. 
And we're going to go to the scripture on that. Those of you that have your Bibles about this reason. Matthew 47 says, and while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the 12, meaning one of the 12 disciples, one betrayed him, came and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now that he betrayed him, gave them a sign saying, whomsoever I shall kiss that same as he'd hold him fast meaning to seize Yahusha during this time. And forthwith he came to Yeshua and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Yeshua said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? And behold, one of them which were with Yeshua stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. But Yeshua told the other disciple to put the sword away because he knew his time was here. This is what Judas did. Shortly after Judas did that, we go over here to Matthew 27, verse 3 through 5. This is what the Judas in your life would do after they betray you because they already a Judas in their heart. Then after they beat Yahusha almost to death, spitting on him, mocking him, buffeting him, punch him in the face because Judas, one of his disciples, gave him away to his enemies. This is Judas now. Judas, which had betrayed him when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See thou to that. They didn't care at this point. They already had who they wanted. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Went and hanged himself after that. And where he hanged himself at is called the field of blood unto this very day. Because it's, it was recorded that his guts fell out when he hung himself. That's how remorseful and regret Judas was. So this Judas in your life that's betraying you. There's something about a Judas in somebody's life. They will sell you out for something to your enemies. That's just a revelation I'm getting today. They will sell you out for monetary gain. They will sell you out because they want something you got and don't want you to have it to your enemy so your enemies can devour you and do what they want to you because they already don't like you. Be aware of these Judases that come into your life. Glory, hallelujah. They are not your friend. Yeah, they play a role like your friend, but they are not your friends. No, they're your enemy in disguise as well. They're an enemy in disguise. It's all Judas is to you. An enemy in disguise. They can't stand the elevation that God is doing for your life. They can't stand that God chose to elevate you and not them. So they would choose to sell you out to your enemies just to prevent you from getting to that next level. The devil is a liar. This Judas that's in your life. They don't care how you feel. They want some type of monetary compensation about this. That's the revelation I'm getting from the Holy Spirit right now as we speak. That's why this person sold you out. You almost lost your life behind this Judas. Because this Judas was playing one way to you and in another way to your enemies. They have their reward. They have their reward. Now this person wants to come back around you and act like they want to make it right. But he, this person already showed that they were your betrayer. So you shouldn't let them back in because they already showed you that they betrayed you already. So why would you want to let this person back in? This Judas, whoever this person is. This Judas shouldn't have had no access to you from the very beginning. But they played a role like they were your friend. Just so they can go back and report what you were doing to your enemies. Somebody say they don't care. Say I don't care. I 
I don't care what you say to my enemies because you're not supposed to. You are a chosen one. You a child of the most high light. You should not care what a Judas would go back and tell your enemies. Your enemies are not your God. Your enemies do not rule over you. Your enemies secretly despise you. Your enemies think you're supposed to be scared of them. You are not scared of your enemies as a chosen one. You ain't even got to say nothing to your enemies. You ain't got to fight. You ain't got to bicker with them. But they are your enemies. It was recorded in the scripture that Yeshua, when he got betrayed by Judas and went to his enemies, they sought after many questions, trying to accuse him before his crucifixion. And what he did, it was recorded that he didn't say a mumbling word. He kept his mouth shut and they marveled because of this. They thought beating and hitting him would get him to talk and prophesy and do things. And he didn't do not one thing because he didn't care about his enemies. He knew who he was, the son of God. These people already didn't believe. So what he got to keep talking for? They already set out to kill him. So that's what they was going to do. And they did just that. See, this Judas in your life was a number one enemy that was around you firsthand. They didn't care about you. They didn't care about how you felt. They didn't care about betraying you to your enemies. They just wanted to get close to you so they can betray you. That's all they did. This is what this Judas did in your life. Let them be miserable in their darkness. And if they choose to hang themselves, then hey, they hang themselves, just as Judas did in the scripture. Because they're guilty. See, a guilty conscience would never be at peace. You're guilty because you knew you were wrong. Now you're guilty. What you guilty about? Shouldn't have started the mess in the first place. But now you're guilty. Guilty. Y'all seen the movie with Robert De Niro? What's it called? There's a movie with Robert De Niro when he had a lawyer and Nick Nolte. I don't know if you guys remember that movie. There's one movie about that. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I know y'all know what I'm talking about if I'm saying Robert De Niro. He basically told the lawyer he was guilty. What it was, Robert De Niro was, he didn't get off for a crime that he committed. And his lawyer of Nick Nolte was the lawyer to get him off. So he did time all this time in prison because of something he did wrong. And I think the lawyer promised him that he was going to get him off, but he never got off for it. So he went after he got out of prison, went and sought after him and his family. And he said, you're guilty. Don't you step on my night, counselor. Don't you step on my night. That's what you need to tell this Judas in your life. Don't you step on your night because this is your time. God gave you your time to shine and not a Judas or a devil in hell can do nothing about that. They can't do anything. Yet they tried and sought to do it over monetary gain or whatever it was. I bet you it was of cheap value. Some of them sold you out for a hamburger. Some of them sold you out for some candy. Some of these people sold you out just to get what you had. Some of these people sold you out because they wanted your man. Some of these people sold you out because they wanted your woman. Some of you men on here. This Judas that was in your life. Be aware of Judas's coming up on you. They are not a friend, but they are an enemy in disguise. And you should not be comfortable with a Judas once it's revealed to you. Because you don't know what that Judas will go back and tell your enemies about you. And can be going back telling a whole bunch of white lies just to get you caught up in some mess with your enemies. And which you should not care because an enemy shouldn't be nothing to you anyway. They are enemies spiritually for a reason. You serve God, they serve the devil. <laughs> what do you need to be scared about? They serve the devil, you serve Yah. <laughs> That's why they're your enemies. It's spiritual. But be aware of the Judas around you. Because this Judas will get you killed. This Judas will get you hurt. This Judas will set people amongst you to devour your whole life. That's all it would do. That's all this Judas did for you. Don't let this Judas back around now that they want to come back and act like they're your friend. But what you should do is give them the business. You get away from me, you betrayer. It's what you got to say sometime. You a betrayer. You betrayed me to my enemies. So why do I have anything else left to say to you? 
You two-faced the devil. So what you got to say, you two-faced the devil. Don't be afraid to call the devil out. If they acting like a devil, they are a devil. But why should you care about your enemies? Why should you be scared of your enemies? Because they serve the devil. And because you serve Yah in spirit and in truth. You should not be afraid of them. Because God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And if your enemies don't get that, because they don't understand the Yah that's in you, then they ain't worthy of your time either. That's why you shouldn't worry about it. Never trust the Judas. Judas is all around you. Judas, Judas is set out to destroy you. Because they're, they want what you have, which is the power that's within you by the Holy Spirit. And this is why you shouldn't give Judas no time or energy in your life. Cut this person off for good, whoever this person is. They not worthy of your time. Tell them to go back and run to your enemies and be friends in, cah in cahoots with them since they want to be so childish on the matter. That's what you tell this Judas Iscariot that's in your life. And don't worry about it ever again. Let God, let his punishment or her punishment be what it is. Shouldn't have played a role like a Judas. Then they have to worry about their demise. <laughs> if you reached the end of this video, it was meant for somebody to hear this message if you watched it all the way to the end. This person was wrong how they treated you. Hey, they're in the most high hands right now. You will have nothing to worry about. Not your naysayer, not your enemies, none of that. But especially this Judas that came in your life. If you like the message, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will have more videos for you all in the future if it's y'all's will for me to do so. Y'all enjoy y'all rest of y'all day. Bye-bye until next time.